It's been months of waiting following the collapse of a tailings dam containing toxic substances at Sino Metals, a mining company based in Chambishi on the Copper Belt. The collapsed dam resulted in the pollution of major water bodies on the Copper Belt, Lusaka, Central and Southern provinces, destroying people's fields, fish and livestock, among others. And now, the Environmental Impact Assessment Report, compiled by the appointed consultant, Applied Science and Technology Associates, was deliberated by various stakeholders in Kitwe. So what we discovered is that um, with the physical assessment, the both the liquid and the solid material, so the liquid is usually referred to as a liquor, the material was highly acidic. So for example, in the, in the liquids, what we found was that uh, the surface were the most highest with a value of about um, 17,000 milligrams per litre. Whilst in the solids, we had high iron followed by magnesium. But that is not all. The consultant engaged by Zema has warned against the consumption of vegetables from the polluted areas of Kalulushi and Chambishi. Look at the people that consumed the vegetables. You have to follow the whole trace of the history. When the incident happened, um, the crops were completely damaged in most of these gardens. The consultant has further recommended the immediate relocation of the Kalusale community, which is in the mine area. It is important to immediately relocate people for their own safety. Also, one of the issues that people settled in mining areas is that the boundaries were liquid. Of concern from all the stakeholders is how the complete cleanup of heavy metals from the waters will be done. The issue on health, short and medium and long term, is where their concerns are, particularly with the heavy metals. And what doesn't come out clearly here is how we can remedial and remove those metals that have settled in the area where the, the, the Sino metal west passed. So in terms of the immediate activities that have been identified for sediment cleanup, the first activity relates to the sediment uh, dredging and capping. Then there's an activity related to soil stabilization as well as treatment. The report will now be handed over to the government for further action on the recommendations and remedial measures. Tamara Mswala, ZNBC News, in Kitu.